Main Humor, Monday, 7.30. From Fairway Sports World in Natick, our champions, Tony Marie Baldinelli from Amesbury and Tom Olster from Sturbridge will defend their title against Marianne Weaver from Webster and Ed Zernike from Webster here on Candlepin Double. I'm Ed Harding, and welcome to Candlepin Doubles, and thank you for making us a part of your afternoon. Let me ask our audience, we've been in the mixed doubles format for a couple weeks. Do you like it? I do, too. Bowlers like it? You like it? It's, it's fun. It really is. It's been fun to watch the past couple of weeks, and it will be fun to watch the next weeks as it unfolds for you. We have a team that's been fortunate enough to hang on by one pin and ten pins the past couple of weeks against a team that names are familiar with. You, you've heard those names before, and you know that they can bowl and bowl competitively very well. So are you ready to do it? They're ready to do it. We're going to turn the show over. It's ladies first. Then the mixed guys will get going. Just to remind you of the format, the ladies will bowl five boxes. Men will bowl five boxes. The good thing is I won't, I won't bowl five boxes. Tony Marie Baldinelli gets us going with the first ball. Marianne Weaver throws her first ball of the day. It's a nine in the first box for Tony Marie. And a nine in the first box for Marianne Weaver. Tony Marie Baldinelli has a high single of 179, a high triple of 469, and an average of 116. Right on the head pin. 4-7 in the 10 stay. Marianne Weaver gets them all to fall up. I don't believe it. That defies physics, logic. On all the X that you can find. That thing teetered a fraction of an inch more, it would have fallen. Speaking of wood, there is some around it. So Marianne takes care of it. Marianne Weaver has an average of 109, a high single of 161, and a high triple of 380. Here's a mark in the second box, first string. As Tony Marie throws her first ball. Third box, first string, gets them all! The fill is seven. And Marianne also has a spare leave. This is, this is a makeable shot. Free channel at the 10. There's wood there, but she can get in a narrow corridor. She can walk in without an obstruction. Yeah, there's one pin that's just rocking it back and forth. She times it. When it rocks out, she drives through. Now Tony Marie gets to fill her strike. First of the two bonus balls. Tommy Olster yelled, it looked good, it looked very good. Each lady has a chance to mark here. Wood is there. And that's what Tony Marie hits. She marks for a second consecutive box. The 10 does not get tapped. Marianne doesn't touch the 10. Wood right around the 10. Marianne cleans it out, second straight 10. 10 of the fourth box. Tony Marie, right on, night on, right on. Well, I tell you what, she's in a groove. She won't want to stop bowling, and she will have to hand it over to Tommy Ulster here in a minute. Marianne 
and Weavers. Pitch is a little outside. This is for bonus money. That is what she has, the third consecutive mark, and she'll hand it over to Tommy Oster to fill with a bonus opportunity. Marianne Weaver having, she got that one to skinny over. There's one more balled around on her fifth box. Right on, takes out the head pin sitting there and leaves the seven to the 10. So we've bowled the first five boxes of the first string and Tony Marie Baldinelli has put her team in front. It's time for the gentlemen to take over and we'll take a break right here on Candlepin Double. Men take over. Tommy Olsten and Ed Zernike are here to take us through the rest of the first string. And Tony Marie Baldinelli has given this man, Tommy Olsten, a 12 pin advantage and a bonus ball! Four horsemen left side. Ed Zernike holds the all-time Channel 5 high single of 197 with 11 consecutive marks. Finds the sweet spot. The bonus ball from Ed Zernike. Ooh, as they say. Ooh, the spread eagle. Ooh, it's a four fill. Won't we'll get two consecutive marks here to start this step. Ed's average is 126, a high single of 200, and a high triple of 465. See the scoreboard. The lead for the championship team of Baldinelli and Olsten is 16 pins through six boxes of bowling here on candle pin doubles. Remember, it's the cumulative total at the end of two strings of bowling that is the most important number. The Baldinelli Olsten team have already earned bonus money to go with their lead. There's wood in front and three pins left standing. Ed Zernike, right on. Tough leave. Yes! That was a terrific shot from Tommy Olsta, and that's that's pushed the lead almost 30 pins. Good effort from Ed Zernike to get it back, but he gets nine in the box. This is two consecutive marks that Tommy Olster's working on. Tony Marie delivered the bonus money. It's time for time to deliver some of his own, and that certainly puts him in position to do so. Dead right on the head pin again. Two pins standing. Olster has a clear shot at them. There is wood down. Three consecutive marks. More bonus money for the Baldinelli Olsta team. Great effort from Ed Zernike. Great shot. Boy, I tell you what. There's knowledge and experience and just know how. Know how them pins go down. Olsta fills his mark with three. And Ed fills his with seven. The best that Tom can do is put the ten up here in the tenth box. It's. Is there any... He gets. I'll tell you what. 
Great effort to take them all out with that one ball. Tommy Ulster goes out with the 10 and a 145 for the Baldinelli Ulster team. Solid first string. Solid first string. Ed Zernike gets the 10 as well. And they have 111. So it's a, it's a, is that a nine? Ralph, Ralph. Nine or 10, what'd you call in that one? 10, Ralph calls it a 10. 145 to 111, we have a second string of bowling to go. Please stay with us. Reminder here too, our our mixed double bonus payoff is 260. So Baldinelli and Osta have already gotten 145. So they're more than halfway there, and they have a full string of bowling to go. It's a target for them to shoot at. <laughs> the sigh of Markless for the Weaver Zernike team. Just to remind you too that. Candlepin doubles, which is pretty much a staple around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Most of the time, we'll be on at 11 o'clock next week, 11 o'clock in the morning. So get up, have your coffee, play with the kids, and check us out at 11 in the morning. Ralph Stewart goes down and... And then Don Gillis will be along with you at 11.30. So just advance your bowling weekend by about an hour or so next week. We're bowling second box, second string. Baldinelli and Ulster, the championship team, have a 35-pin advantage. Tony's waiting for the wood to settle. There's a lot of wood standing. There's a lot of wood lying down. It's like quite a mess. Three pins. There's the there's the shot that Tony Marie has in front of her. Goes out with a nine here, the second box, second string, and put another pin on her advantage. The lead for the Baldinelli Ulster team is up to 36 pins. Move to the third box, second string. Virtually the same shot staring at each lady. Marianne Weaver gets, boy, I'll tell you what, the seven and the 10 get tapped, but they don't go over. Wood there, no. nine in the third box for Tony Marie Baldinelli. Another pin has been tacked to the lead. It's a 37 pin advantage. Move along at one pin at a time here in the second string. <laughs> Four horsemen in the 10. pieces of wood right in front of the one standing. Doesn't matter, Marianne gets it for a 10 here in the fourth box. Tony Marie goes to the inside portion of the pin. That doesn't kick out the 10. It's back to a 36 pin advantage for Baldinelli and Olsten. Right on the head pin. And they get over. Go 
and one. Come on up. Not bad, Tony, not bad. It's wood all around that seven. There's a fort around us, the walled city. And... Doesn't matter how you get in there, Marianne has, has a smirk on her face. Tony Marie Baldinelli with a wonderful shot of her own, and each woman marking here in their fifth and final box of the second string, and they hand it off to the gentlemen halves of their partnership with bonus balls in their hands. And 36 pins separating the two teams. The Baldinelli Ulster team, the championship team, with the 36 pin advantage. And Zernike fills the mark with seven. Eight, with eight. Can I add? No. Can I subtract? No. I need a computer. Nine. Whoa. There's a clean shot at it. Tommy has a clean corridor right at it. Zernike with the 10, and Ulster with the mark, and they are, they're, yeah, they're moving in, I'm trying to add up real quickly here, 145 and 66, they're, they're closing in, they're closing in on 260. Well, you're just going to slide back one at a time and fold them back. Peel the pins back. It's Mark here in the seventh box for Ed Zernike. Mm. Mm. And it's a nine for Tommy Olsta. By the way, Ed's father, Tony Zernike, will be inducted into the Candlepin Hall of Fame in Portland, Maine. Later in July, his mother was inducted into the Hall of Fame in July of 87. We understand they reserved a spot for Phil Rubin in there, too. Our producer, director extraordinaire. The question is, the question is, the what spot are they reserved for? No, it will not get over. Ten in the box for Ed, seven and a ten. Whoa. Goodbye. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> take them out. A ten in the box for Tommy Olsen. A 37 pin advantage. Two boxes left. I think it's fairly safe to assume that Baldinelli and Ulster will move on again. If you're if you're into the drop D hammer. If you look, if you're into the cumulative score and therefore the bonus. They had needed a 115. They're already at 100. They have two bonus balls off the strike. So it is within range. By the way, not to be unmentioned, that Zernike marked in the box, too. No. No, sir. Bang. Well, they'll go over the bonus. They'll not only win, but they'll go over. They'll earn bonus money for consecutive marks. They'll earn bonus money for cumulative score. And more importantly, they've won the match, and they get the opportunity to come back next week and to defend their championship. And just to remind you again, next week we're on at 11 o'clock in the morning. A little earlier for you, so you can see if they can keep the streak going. It's Tommy Ulster just for entertainment. Rolls out with six more pins, a 126 in the string, and a cumulative score. I have to add it up real fast. 271. So they win. They eclipse the bonuses, they win the match, and they move on. The team of Baldinelli and Ulster winning 271 to 216. We shall return. Marianne, 
I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Nothing. Marianne said she didn't have anything to say. Talk to Eddie. Right? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. it's like, hey, congratulations. You did great. It's going to be a fun July for you, right? You, you get is. to have your, the other half of your parents in the Hall of Fame, huh? Yep. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to you, Marianne. Thank, Thank you for your time. You. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you want to go now and sit down? Would you feel better? No. 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 <laughs> here, wait, wait. Here, hold on to this for a minute. I got to do some adding up here. Let me see now. You guys, you guys got, well, here, no, give it over here. You got 500 bucks for winning, right? Yeah. 50 for consecutive marks, 50 for consecutive, you did it twice, right? And then $200 for over 260. Not for not as a not, carried 800 bucks? All you have to do is ask him. 800, 800 bucks for winning today? Can I bowl against you next week? I offered you 10 bucks to throw a strike now, didn't I? <laughs> and we're not going to tell everybody what happened. Well, congratulations, guys, you won again. Thank you. She came out of the gate strong again. At least this time I helped her out. She had somebody in a bullpen warming up just yeah. in case. <laughs> I was going to say, this time each of you earned the three consecutive marks for right. the opportunity at the bonus money, right? Fair is fair. Fair is fair. Well, you've got a streak going now. Hey, why do you have the streak going now? Because Tony's bowling good. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's bowling all right, too. You can give him equal time, yes. right? Yes, exactly. Bowling against, against the, the team today. You know, when you go out there, do you bowl against the team? Do you bowl against the game? What do you do? Bowl against the pins. Yeah. Just try to hit as good as you can no matter what. Try to strike them as solidly as you can. You have to. You struck them very solidly today, and they won again. So congratulations. And you'll be back again next week? We'll be here. Jeez. For $800 a week, I'd be back, too. <laughs> For all of us here at Kendallpin Doubles, I'm Ed Harding. Have a great day, and we'll see you next week. And remember, it's at 11 o'clock in the morning, and the Don Gillis Show is at 1130. So advance your bowling schedule just a little bit. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.